We are here in Folly Field at 16 Sand Dollar, and this is a great oceanfront home. I can't wait to show it to you. This is just a look across the, st the street and at, at the trees on either side of the driveway. Nice paver driveway coming in and to this really lovely home. Nice garage doors. Looks like those are, are definitely newer garage doors. Brick steps leading leading up. And I have the front door opened up, but it's a really lovely, nice wood front door. Just a be beautiful entrance. And as you come through the front door, you see straight out to the beach. Very stunning. Nice tall ceilings. I greet you. Stairs are nicely tucked over, off to the side. We have a powder room tucked in over here. A nice study with recessed lights and a tray ceiling which leads right through to the butler pantry. In looking at this, I think this was maybe, maybe also could, could double as uh, the dining room. So we'll take a look at that as we walk through. Great laundry, very nice. Lots of storage in here. Your electrical panel is in here. Ice makers making ice. And then we come right into the kitchen. Really lovely flow through here. You have nice crown moldings in here, and then they take it up a notch in this kitchen area. With your dining out here, looking out to the water. Stove is fantastic. And then double island, so you have a prep island and a little casual dining island as well. The main living area has beautiful coffered ceilings. Wine chiller here, nestled in the back of this room, just to give you perspective. The front door is here. You have your elevator that goes down to the garage and then st I'm assuming these are the steps down to the garage which we'll look at that yeah we'll we'll look at that in just a moment so you do have you have stone floors here this is more, more of a, a, a natural product. You have tile in here, and then the hardwoods in this room. I will say I'm not usually a fan in hard, hardwoods in the, uh, in the den slash dining, 
I'm not usually a fan of, of changing up the flooring, having so many different floors coming together, but the, in some odd way, they all sort of complement each other. Um, so we'll, let's run downstairs first. So down here at the garage level, The elevator is right here. You have plenty of room down here. Yeah. You have a bay here. You could have a pool table in this area. Then you have storage back, back through this whole area. They have, have it dehumidified. It's very pleasant down here and then another bay here plus some some storage over in here so definitely room for for a pool table or something fun down there come into the master suite tray ceilings beautiful view out to the beach and out to this back deck space which we'll see that in a moment the master closet Upstairs, we have this great family family room, second floor family room, that just as we get higher up enhances the view. Really nice, nice space here. You have the hardwood floors. A little wet bar set up here. Great balcony. Oh, the breeze is delightful up here. And you can really see the property. From up here. Now this is a fantastic room up here. Second floor surround sound in this room. Uh, this this is another bedroom, or they have it set up as an office. This too has it, its own bath with a walk-in shower. Nice setup here. Beautiful doors. Very well done. You can, you can just tell this home is very solid, very well constructed. And I would say it's one of, one of the nicest uh, from, a, from a construction standpoint, one of the, the most solid homes that, um, that I've been in. Another nice bath. This too with a walk-in. And they've carried the crown molding upstairs here. Coming back across the hall. Two more bedrooms. Nice light in here, just a really great size. Really very spacious. This goes out to a balcony in the front, although they've chosen to put 
it, it just have it blocked off with a dresser. And then this is a Jack and Jill bath. That Jack and Jill's, so to speak, into this back bedroom. And this bedroom too has the great view and access to the upstairs balcony. I'm going to run down, I'm just gonna pause for a moment and run down and just take a walk out to the beach. So here we are at outside. The master bedroom is over here. I just came out from the from the um, kitchen area and onto this beautiful covered covered patio. This is the size of of the hot tub slash pool. So it's 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 nice with this. Um, it's nice. It's it's small. It's a hot tub. Somebody might be able to figure out how to continue it over the, in this direction with it being built up. Maybe they could take that side of the steps out and come over. And we'd have to see, but there's great space up here. I'm not sure if the sunlight is, is right, if this is going to translate. Let me try and show you from this, from this angle. Really some great space. Up, up here for enjoying the, the sun and then let's let's take a quick walk well let's see how long of a walk it is down to the actual beach so it's nice you can gate that off keep kids and dogs up there If there are any any visiting, this is the backyard, or well, this is the backside of what would what you'd ha need to cut into and and uh, to do a pool. It's great that these backyards are fantastic. You don't really get a lot of deep backyards, but the limitation, of course, is that you don't have the ability to, to use it other than recreationally really couldn't do anything with regard to um, actually putting a putting a full-size pool in that space this is Trex decking coming the whole way out here a little marsh bunny right there a couple of them This is a, a nice landing spot. I'm going to slide my shoes off. And we'll go up and over. So it's not right out the back door, but really it's not too terribly far either. It's kind of, I've found from living in Port Royal where where you do find that it takes a little bit oh. I actually had to pull something out of my my foot I got a little sticker in my foot as I was walking I'm so sorry but I did, I have found from living in Port Royal where you do tend to have a little distance to walk up and over the dunes just, just like you do here, that there is some comfort. I'm gonna stop here because I am barefooted, but the, the, the ocean is just, just up over, over that crest. Uh, at this time of year, the one thing, these little burrs do, uh, they, they, you do have to be careful of them and uh, wear some flip-flops <laughs> coming down to the beach. I sadly didn't have any with me. So I'm going to leave it here uh, and um, try not to step on, on any of these burrs. But I, do, I don't think that it's a, it's a real long distance back to the home.
Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.